All right, well, we got breaking news. Uh, I just got done reporting on a story with uh, Kim Jong-un and uh, Vladimir Putin, and they they had an all-nighter last night. They I hear they didn't even sleep. I hear they were just up there partying, so drinking and drinking and drinking. So they discussed plans about the world and the Bureau, about what to do with Trump, about oil trade, probably about their women, who knows. Their toys, the stuff that Kim wishes he could have, you know, that, that Vladimir Putin has in his arsenal. So the stuff that he wishes he had, you know, he's got those old-fashioned jets and old-fashioned everything, and Vladimir Putin's like the king of top fucking, top-secret, black-budget fucking dealings from behind just to piss off the U.S., you know what I'm saying? He's like the king thug, dude. So that's all that guy is. He's just a king thug, and he's always going to remain in power, dude. He just makes his way into power. So you you vote against Vladimir Putin, you're in deep shit. But both of them seem like, you know, like, I don't know, they looked a little hungover. They look like, hey, man, goodbye, have a good time, you know what I mean? And Yeah, they, yeah, they had an all-nighter, so they're, they looked a little rough. So Kim's probably going to sleep his way uh, sleep on the train back i'm sure and vladimir putin he's probably going to be going back to bed so yeah so but anyway the leaders discussed uh what they're going to do here in the future and uh we're going to find out what was said you know what, what they're going to release what was said i don't know they're not going to tell you entirely what was said so it's there's going to be a lot more dealings with uh backdoor dealings with like food in water and oil because that's what that's what vladimir putin really wants to give to north korea and maybe possibly weapon components you know hopefully nothing for a submarine i hope so anyway crazy that was one quick meeting they just got together partied it up and that's it so they, they didn't even go drive around tanks or anything like that that's why i wish i was vladimir putin that'd be awesome dude let's go to the gun range today let's just take a drive a tank around you know what i mean let's go blow some shit up let's go in a submarine and go fucking blow up a fucking ship who cares i want to pull the trigger though you know what i mean that'd be like that'd be the greatest thing ever dude to have all those toys at your disposal could you imagine you know how fun that would be how cool that would be the lifestyle that guy lives and then he deals with all these world leaders partying up all the time Dude, he's a champion, dude. Vladimir Putin's a fucking champion. So, yep. So, anyway, I'm going to go out there in just a little bit to go video in the bureau. But as of right now, those two leaders, boy, they look happier than fuck. So, that's a good thing for the world. That's a sigh of relief. So, as always, I love you. And peace from Fargo. Oh, Kimmy, you need to get some sleep. All right. Have a good one.